Excuse me, what the? What did I just put in my mouth? Lots of probiotics just roaming around in my stomach right now. It's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today's video is quite random, but hopefully you enjoy it. So first I wanna show you guys a mini vegan grocery haul because I know you guys love these. And then I'm gonna do a yogurt taste test, a vegan yogurt taste test. I'm kind of excited, I'm kind of nervous, but first let's get started with the grocery haul. All right guys, I just went grocery shopping and I just thought I would show you this mini haul. So first, of course, I got some bubbly. You guys know my addiction. Some oranges. Should I not be getting fruit in this type of packaging? Is this the worst thing for the environment? Let me know and I'll try to stop. And I got some baby spinach. Thing of kale, asparagus. I only buy asparagus when it's on sale. I also got some carrot, some nori sheets, blueberries, red bell pepper, aluminum foil because I ran out. I also got a big can of chickpeas and then I got all of the plant-based yogurt. So here's the lineup of the yogurts. President's Choice Cultured Coconut Milk Yogurt, Maison Riviera Oat-Based Vegan Plain, and then I noticed they also had the coconut milk yogurt in plain as well, so I got that as well. The Silk Almond Yogurt, the Daya yogurt. This one is coconut cream yogurt and yes, this one is plain. So those are the five that I'm going to be comparing. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that mini grocery haul. Check out my playlist that's linked down below for more vegan grocery hauls that are a little bit more in depth maybe. So yeah, I'll leave that link down below. But now Without further ado, I wanna do the vegan yogurt taste test. Now my friends, I wanted to get more yogurts, okay? I wanted to get like at least 10, but unfortunately it is currently minus 25 degrees Celsius outside and it feels like minus 33. There is an extreme cold weather warning. So um, I'm not going outside, basically. <laughs> We're gonna have to make do with these five yogurts that I'm going to taste test for you. And I do apologize if some of them you can't get in your local area, but maybe they won't be good, so it won't matter. Um, but yeah, if you guys want more <laughs> yogurt taste tests after this video, let me know. I will go and buy more vegan yogurts to taste test for you guys. Okay, so before I jump in, I wanna let you know that all of these were first purchased with my own money, and second, they're all plain yogurts, okay? So at first I thought about like buying just random flavors and stuff, but I figured that maybe the best way to do the taste test is to only buy the plain yogurts. I bought the plain ones. I'm a little scared, to be honest with you, because they are plain. I'm kind of like afraid that they won't taste good. But yeah, I will let you know if I think it tastes really bad, okay? I really hope that all of them don't taste really bad. <laughs> I will be honest though if they do. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> so the first one here is the Daya Deliciously Dairy Free Coconut Cream Yogurt Alternative. I'm also gonna give you guys the lowdown on the calories, the macros, the nutrition information. We're gonna start with the Daya or the Daya, the legendary, the longest running, actually I don't really know, the longest running dairy free, most well-known dairy free company. So first impression looks like a, you know, standard yogurt type thing. It's quite thick looking. Whew, why am I nervous? <laughs> it's quite thick. She look a little thick. Smells yogurty. Doesn't have a foul smell. Doesn't have a weird smell, which is very good. Uh, the consistency, it's quite thick, maybe kind of like a Greek yogurt. All right, shall I try this? It's very tart. Is that the word I'm looking for? Like, you know the face I'm making? It's very tart. I really like this. <laughs> Excuse me, Daya. Excuse me. It doesn't have much of a coconut taste, which is probably a good thing. It's very tart. It gives me that like yogurty, tarty sort of feel. Woo! I feel like it's more tart than um, other vegan yogurts I've tried, but it tastes very like cultured. This gives me that face. It makes me make that tart face. Like it's not sour, but kind of like sour. You know what I mean? But I really like it. It's yogurty. 
It almost feels like it's a little bit sweet, but maybe that's like naturally sweet from the coconut. I don't know. You know what? I'm not mad at this one. I was actually quite nervous for this one. I don't know why. This one though, the issue, here's the issue, okay? For two third cup, which is 175 grams of yogurt, it's 170 calories and seven grams of protein. I feel like it's a little high for like a plain yogurt. I do like the taste of it. The only issue I have is that I think it's a little bit high in calories considering it's like not even sweetened. So that's the Daya or the Daya. Next, I'm quite excited to try this one. This is the President's Choice Cultured Coconut Milk Yogurt Alternative. President's Choice is a Canadian company and recently they have come out with like a huge plant-based selection. So I'm really excited to try a bunch of their plant-based products. And I know that a lot of you guys are in the US, so I'm not sure if you guys would want a video of me taste testing some of these President's Choice representing the Canadian brand. But let me know if you want to see that because I know a lot of you guys are also Canadian, so maybe you want the Canadian taste test, okay? Ooh, okay. This one smells more yogurty, I would say. It seems to have a much lighter color. It's a lot more white. I don't know if that makes a difference. It seems to be a little bit of a thinner texture than the day out. Let's try this. Oh my god, it's so good. This one's not tart at all. The face I was making before, the sour face, I'm not making that face because this one doesn't have that tartiness and it doesn't taste like super sour. Let me try this again. It's a mild, slight coconut flavor, not too strong. Overall, like the taste is not that strong. Like it's just kind of very mild. I feel like this one would be really good overall. Like most people wouldn't have a problem with this one because the taste is so mild, but it does have a slight coconutty taste. But for a plain yogurt, it's pretty good. And it doesn't have any weird kind of aftertaste or anything like that. I really like it actually. Ooh, and let's go through the macros, okay? So 175 grams, which is three fourths cups, it's 70 calories, so it's less than half of the calories for this one. So if you're watching your weight, this one's definitely a better option. 4.5 grams of fat, it has seven grams of carbs and one gram of protein, so it's a little bit less in protein. But yeah, I really like the taste of this. It's just mild and it's good and it's not too crazy. I like it. I wish it was higher in protein though. That'd be nice. Next, we've got two yogurts from Maison Riviera. They have the coconut milk plain yogurt and then this oat-based plain yogurt, which I've tried before. You guys have seen me try this. Some people commented that the oat-based one is not good compared to the coconut-based one. So, so far, I mean, the coconut-based ones have uh, impressed me so far. So maybe they're right. So let's open this baby up. Oh my God, am I gonna get yogurt all over me? Why does this always, okay. Okay, smell again, quite good smell. It looks most appetizing <laughs> once you open it up compared to these two. These two looked a little bit chunky, but once you mix it up, it was fine. This one looks pretty appetizing just from the get-go. It just looks nice and smooth. All right, let's get a little spoonful. Okay. I like it, I do. It has a slight strange taste, just slight. When I first put it in my mouth, there was like a slight mm, reaction, okay? But it has, again, that kind of slight tartiness. So I would say this one has the tartiness in between, is that even a term, like tartiness, tartness? tart the tart flavor in between these two so this one i felt like had almost no tart flavor and this one had like a lot of tart and this one i feel like has kind of you know the middle ground amount of tart yeah i think it has that perfect yogurt tartness okay it tastes good i actually like it i'm not mad at it actually i would eat this plain so far i would eat all these plain I don't know what I like best. It's weird because initially when I first started eating this, I was like, so far it's my least favorite, but then when I kept eating it, it's almost like this one's my favorite. It grew on me. So this one for 3 fourths cup, which is 175 grams, is 120 calories, seven grams of fat, four grams of protein, 
and nine grams of carbs. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. I'm very impressed so far with plant-based yogurts. I did not expect, I, I was actually very afraid of not liking anything and then making it seem like plant-based yogurts are just like all awful, but it's come a long way, guys. I don't know if I've ever told you, but the first time I had plant-based yogurt was about 10 years ago and I had just stopped eating dairy which guys, it's been 10 years, what? I haven't been vegan for 10 years, but I stopped eating dairy about 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago now. I remember I bought some kind of vegan yogurt in like a health food store and it was so terrible that I thought it went bad. Like it was so bad. So we've come a long way. We've developed a lot of things in this decade. We should be proud of ourselves, okay. All right, so next we have the oat-based Maison Riviera yogurt. So I can already tell you that the coconut tastes better than the oat because I've tried the oat before. This is, however, my second, what do you call this? Second tub. And the reason why I keep buying it is because I like the macros and I like the calories and I like that this one is the highest in protein. Five grams of protein and only 60 calories. I'm just like really on the hunt for a vegan yogurt that's high in protein, that tastes really good, that's not as high in calories. And the reason why I'm looking for a higher protein content is because I like to eat a higher protein diet and it makes me feel more satisfied and full for longer and that's just my personal thing. But if you don't care about that, then definitely this one tastes better. <laughs> but let me try this one again, just to compare side by side. I've already opened this one. So this one also looks very nice and smooth. The consistency texture looks very great, creamy, not too crazy looking, not too funky looking. And when you smell it, you can kind of smell that slight, weird probiotic smell. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know. Let me taste it for you guys. Mm -hmm. It definitely has a slight weird taste. And if you've tried this, you probably know what I mean. It's not the best, okay? <laughs> I would not eat this plain. I don't think it tastes good plain. Similar tardiness to this one. Obviously, those are from the same brand, so I'm sure they use the same method. It must be that coconut is better for yogurt taste <laughs> than oats are, probably because it's higher in fat and stuff. But yeah, I mean, the kind of weird taste isn't so terrible that it's like overwhelming that I can't eat it. Obviously, this is my second tub, but I definitely would not eat it just on its own. I don't think it's as enjoyable. So what I've been doing with this, which I actually really enjoy, is actually I take the, you know, the serving amount and then I mix in half a scoop of chocolate protein powder. And then that kind of creates a little bit of pudding, like a chocolate pudding like taste, I think. But again, I don't just eat that like that. I add like, you know, granola and fruit. And then that mixture is quite good. And I really enjoy that for breakfast or as a snack. So this one definitely wins when it comes to macros and calories, but loses in terms of taste so far. So this one is 60 calories only for 175 grams, which is three quarter cup. It's zero grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. Love that but don't love the taste as much as the other ones. And now we have the final Silk product and Silk is very widely uh, available, I believe. The Silk Almond, is this the almond? Yes, that's an almond. Let me just, yes. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous for this one. Let's see what almond-based yogurt tastes like. This one, the macros, oof. This one is 180 calories for three quarter cup, which is 175 grams, again. It's 15 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, and six grams of protein. Let's open this baby up. Ooh, okay. So this looks a little crusty. Okay, so this one looked a little crusty when I first opened it up, but once you mix it up, it's smooth and seems to be a perfectly fine consistency. It seems to be very normal yogurt, creamy consistency, so that's good. Ooh, okay. Smell. Smell test. It has that weird smell, guys. It's not the worst, but it definitely has a weird smell. Slightly. That probiotic smell. I don't even know if I'm making sense when I say that. Whew. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay. So initial reaction, as soon as I put it in my mouth, super tart, almost tastes like it's gone bad. <laughs> that initial like, woof. Like it's like almost too fermented. I don't know, like the initial like, put it in the mouth, initial reaction is that like, oh my God, it's what the, what did I just put in my mouth? And then once you kind of like, you know, taste it a little bit, it, it gets better, like it's not, it's not actually that bad, but um, it's really tart as well, very similar to this level of tart, very, very tart. I wish it was a little less tart. Yeah, 
when you first put it in your mouth, you get that really strong tart flavor, and then you also get like a slightly weird flavor. I'm sure it's just from the almonds, but um, yeah, no, this one is definitely not my favorite. This one's my least favorite. <laughs> and funny enough, it's the highest in calories. Not worth it, okay? After you eat it, it has a bit of like a chalkiness in your mouth sort of feel, and that's probably like the almonds. It leaves me a little bit of a dry mouth feel. Like it's not terrible, like I'll, I'll definitely still eat it, but I definitely wouldn't buy it again. Let's rank them, shall we? All right guys, so overall this was a very positive experience. Now I want to rank them, and this is kind of hard. Um, well, this one's definitely last, okay? Sorry, Silk. Love you. Love your non-dairy milks. And I'm sure your sweetened yogurts are tasty, but this unsweetened almond is just not my thing. Not my cup of tea. You lose. Sorry, Silk. Love you. Last. And then, oh, it's hard because I have to take everything into consideration. Okay, so taste-wise, let's do a ranking by taste. This one is last no matter what, okay? Taste, macros, nutrition, everything. Dead last. Taste-wise, I, oh. Let me just smell. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I feel like these two are kind of tied, but I want to say this one first. Maison Riviera coconut milk flavor, but very closely followed by the President's Choice Cultured Coconut Milk Alternative. I do think the President's Choice one is the least offensive, as in it's just like a mild, easy to have yogurt. Yeah but I do think this one maybe it tastes slightly better because it has that kind of right amount of tart. And then I wanna say it's the Daya or the Daya coconut cream and then the oat-based Maison Rivera and then the Silk. So that's my ranking for the taste. And then for just overall including taste and taking into consideration the nutrition. Ooh, why is this so hard? I might switch these two. This one I think does taste better than this one, but this one has a very like strong, very kind of almost offensive taste. Not offensive, but it's like very like, it's like out there, you know? It's like screaming at you. And so some people might find it a little bit too much. I do like the taste of it. I do think this tastes better than this one, obviously, but taking the macros into consideration, I will probably give this a slightly higher rating. <laughs> you know what? Let's switch these two. There we go. There's my final overall rating, not just based on taste. I do think because the taste was, you know, very mild and not too offensive or anything like that, it's very easy to add extra things in there and because it's not super high in calories you don't have to worry about like making your meal like crazy so it's probably a healthier alternative and it also looks like the ingredients list is very like small it just has coconut milk modified potato starch pectin and bacterial culture those are the only ingredients so yeah this one is great canadian brand represent okay all right you guys so that is my yogurt taste test let me know what you think. If you want me to do more brands, leave me a comment below if you have some favorite yogurt brands. I know I'm missing a few. Next time, if it's not minus 33 degrees, I will go outside, buy some vegan yogurts from other places and do another taste test. So definitely give this video a thumbs up if that's what you wanna see. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see that and you haven't subscribed yet. Lots of probiotics just roaming around in my stomach right now, okay? Doing the magic helping the digestion, okay? I'm gonna be very healthy, eating a lot of yogurt for the next few days. <laughs> Leave me a little comment, let me know what you think, if you've tried any of these, and if you completely disagree with my assessment, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!